Aerial is an example of an augmented reality application. The goal is to allow users to use ordinary everyday objects, in this case paper engineering drawings, and augment them with the computer. Arial supports distributed cooperative work by enabling users to share informal handwritten notes and audio video records with each other via a digital desk, and to communicate with each other in real time via live audio video links in a media space. We are exploring these technologies with real users in a real setting. Arial is designed to support the engineering supervisors responsible for building the longest suspension bridge in the world across the Great Belt Waterway in Denmark. Engineering documents are a fundamental part of any construction project or manufacturing process. Rather than eliminating the paper form of these drawings, Arial treats them as a central work artifact. The drawings are thus both the interface to the computer network and objects in their own right. Paper drawings have a number of advantages. They can be folded to highlight relevant areas, and separate drawings can be placed next to each other and easily compared. Drawings are also portable. Engineers can select the particular drawings they need for the day and carry them to the bridge or other sites. They can also invent their own systems for organizing and keeping track of the drawings. We studied the work practices of the people who use rather than create these drawings. We found that, although they all have computers in their offices, they rarely look at the drawings online. They much prefer paper. For them, the most important feature is the ability to easily annotate their own personal copies. In fact, our studies showed that the paper versions often contain critical information that is never recorded online. The paper drawings may thus be the most accurate record of what was actually built. Ariel is being developed as part of a three-year European Esprit project called Eurocode. The research site includes several major construction areas that are accessible only by boat, as well as prefabrication sites and offices on the shore. We conducted a series of field studies involving interviews and observation of the engineering supervisors engaged in their daily work. We also invited the users to actively participate in aerial design sessions to give us feedback on our own technology and contribute their own innovations. Let's begin with an illustration of how an engineering supervisor might actually use Arial in his daily work. Each supervisor travels regularly to and from the various bridge sites, carrying the relevant engineering drawings with him. If he sees something that requires attention, he may record a comment on his dictaphone or record a video clip of the problem with his video camcorder. Supervisors use the engineering drawings as their central reference point for all annotations. He may make an annotation on the drawing itself or design a solution to a problem on a separate piece of paper. When the supervisor returns to one of the site offices, he has access to an aerial workstation where he can record his annotations and communicate with the other members of his team. Arial is an extension of a digital desk which projects computer images onto paper documents and lets the user interact with them. In this version, an Optima liquid crystal projection system and an overhead projector are mounted in the ceiling. A tiny video camera detects the location of a red light source on the graphics tablet below. The system can be controlled with either a Macintosh PowerBook for portability or a Sun workstation. We've explored various combinations of input devices, including a handheld scanner for capturing notes and sketches, a barcode reader for entering commands and identifying documents, and either a light pen or a digitizing tablet for detecting where the user is pointing on the document. The usual mouse and keyboard are also available, although they are not needed in the basic aerial application that supports multimedia annotation of engineering drawings. The supervisor uses a barcode reader to read the barcode on his badge and log in. He then registers his current drawing by using the barcode reader again and places it on the desktop. Arial projects a set of menu options on the side of the drawing and also displays previously recorded annotations. These appear in layers according to who made the annotation. The supervisor can select an annotation with a light pen and move the annotation to the relevant part of the paper drawing. The supervisor can also add new annotations. In this example, he decides to save an audio annotation from his dictaphone. He connects the dictaphone and selects New Note from the menu. 
Arial projects a list of possible annotation types onto the paper drawing. In order to make it easier to read, he places a sheet of plain white paper over the drawing to create a virtual window. He selects the sound annotation. Arial automatically creates an icon with his name, the date, and a symbol indicating that it is an audio annotation. He can move this annotation wherever he likes. In order to record the audio, he selects the new audio icon. Arial projects a control panel with buttons similar to that of a VCR. He presses the play button on his dictaphone and then chooses record on the control panel. Make a note that there may be a problem with the steel reinforcing rods on the base of girder number six. When he's satisfied, he presses stop and then saves the recording. The same technique can also be used for making live audio recordings. This is also the technique used for capturing live video from a camera or a previously recorded videotape. He next checks the new note to make sure that it recorded properly. Make a note that there may be a problem with the steel reinforcing rods on the base of girder number six. Next, he decides to capture the sketch he made earlier and associate it with the drawing. He creates a sketch icon and moves it to the appropriate place on the drawing. He then uses the handheld scanner to record his drawing. The system digitizes the image. When he's finished scanning, he presses Done, and Arial displays the digitized result back onto the drawing. He associates this with the sketch icon he just made. Supervisors often use video to illustrate problems or discrepancies between the drawing and the actual bridge. Here, the supervisor checks a previously recorded video clip. Note that all of these annotations are now available on the network and can be viewed by other team members. Ar Ariel is not only an interface to a hypermedia system, it also lets users use engineering drawings to access a media space. Here, the supervisor decides to discuss a problem with one of the other engineers. First, he checks to see if he's available and willing to talk by glancing at him. Since he's there, he makes a full audio-video connection using an ATM link to the shore and discusses the problem in depth. Ariel presents some interesting user interface issues and choices. Here, we use a video camera to detect the red light emitted from a light pen and identify where the user is pointing. Ariel tracks the location of the pen relative to both the projected computer image and the engineering drawing. The barcode reader also uses a red LED, so we can have a single device for reading barcodes and identifying position on the paper. Here we see the video camera attached to the projection system mounted overhead. Another issue is identifying the location of sheets of paper. One technique is to attach an LED to the corner of the page. We can now identify the position of the paper and the computer can track it as it moves. An on-off switch makes it possible to tell Ariel when to pay attention to that sheet of paper and when to ignore it. Note that when the LED is turned off, the small hand no longer moves as the page moves. Mixing projected computer images with paper introduces some new, sometimes unexpected problems. It is difficult to read both the projected image and the information on the drawing below. Our solution was to develop a virtual window. The idea is to use a blank piece of paper as the background for projecting information from the computer. Here we place a blank sheet of paper on top of the engineering drawing to provide an opaque background on which the computer can display new information. The LED in the corner lets the user move the virtual window anywhere on top of the drawing and have the projected image follow. Another issue is helping the user distinguish between what is projected and what is real. Here the user moves the hotspot around the drawing to show that it is projected. When the paper drawing is removed, the hotspot remains. This is the third version of Arial, which will continue to evolve as we work with the engineers of the Great Belt site to meet their real-world needs with innovative technology.